Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you my top 10 of the most beautiful abandoned castles in France. So let's start. Number 10. The Castle William Hunek Since the end of the 2000s, the estate has been completely abandoned after the bankruptcy of a contractor who bought the property. He wanted to start some works to build a residential complex all around the castle. The castle was also once used as a summer camp, as you can see in this archive picture. The fireplace was beautiful, and even the bathrooms were decorated as you can see. The main façade was beautifully decorated, with a lot of animal sculptures and the brick's colors make it a unique and original building. Nowadays, the castle is open to all winds and left to thieves and vandals. Number 9. The Secret Castle This castle dates from the 16th century and was originally surrounded by a moat. It was then renovated and transformed into a Renaissance-style castle as you can see now. Abandoned for several years, all the furniture has remained in it, offering explorers an incredible time capsule with its own little chapel a room dedicating to sewing, a gigantic library, and wooden furniture. Unfortunately, the castle has become very popular in recent years, and many people have come to damage and steal it. It is no longer possible to explore it because a guard watches over the place now. Number 8. The Castle Clare Dome this castle suffered a terrible fire a few years ago, reducing it to a state of ruin. Previously owned by a wealthy man from Paris, the castle was highly decorated with mouldings and paintings everywhere. The Renaissance style of the castle made it a prestigious place. Now, nature takes back its rights inside and creates a spectacle worthy of a fairy tale. The large central rotunda is overground with ivy. It is a very dangerous ruin that is slowly collapsing and access to it is very difficult and risky. Number 7. The Castle Roger Handamat This gigantic castle has been abandoned for several years in the depths of the French countryside. Of medieval origin, the castle was later renovated in a more modern style, as you can see now. Apart from its small chapel, the rest of the castle has been totally destroyed by thieves. Nothing remains of its former beauty inside. Yet, it was a very prestigious residence. But from the outside, you can still notice how beautiful the castle is. The castle has now been bought by a wealthy owner who wishes to give it new life. Number 6. The Castle of Carnell This castle, built in the 19th century, was built for a French duke. It was then given to the city of Paris, which decided to use it as a sanatorium at the beginning of the 1913s. But medical progress, making it possible to treat tuberculosis, then led to the closure of the castle in 1992. Despite its years of abandonment and neglect, the castle remained magnificent. The exterior is very decorated. The interior has suffered a lot, but works has been undertaken to renovate it now. Number 5. The Colimaçon Castle This building is an abandoned late 19th century mansion in northern France. It was built on the foundations of a very old castle, destroyed many years ago. A local farmer previously owned the castle, yet he did little to maintain it. Then he sold the mansion in the 1970s to an Iranian engineer. This man made some attempts to renovate the mansion. In the recent years, there was a constant dispute with the former owner. This owner lived nearby and still grazed sheep on the land. 
Tensions escalated and arguments ensued as a result of this. Finally, the Iranian owner returned to the United States and left the property to rot. Number 4. The Castle of the Gendarmet This castle was built on the foundations of a medieval castle and cave dwellings at the end of the 19th century. It was then used as a hotel, a restaurant, then as a rest and convalescent home. Finally, it was requisitioned by the French police to be used as a school for police girls. It was eventually used as a summer camp after World War II. It is now owned by an Asian owner who refuses to maintain it and lets it fall in utter desolation. Its neo-Gothic architecture makes it one of the most impressive abandoned castles in France from the outside. Number 3. The Castle Little Versailles This magnificent castle was built by the widow of a wealthy textile industrialist. She spent more than 2 million of euros for the construction of the castle and had it built in a Louis XV's style by the greatest artists and architects of the time. It is often described as a small palace of Versailles, so much the prestige and the beauty of its interiors reminded of the royal palace. The castle is also distinguished by its incredible statues on the main façade. Unfortunately, abandoned since the 1970s, it has become an overground realm. It is even threatened with demolition despite the absence of a local association to save it. Number 2. The Castle of Bagnac This ruined castle is one of the most beautiful and unique in France. And for good reason, it was built by a wealthy couple on the ruins of a medieval castle in a fabulous neo-gothic style inspired by the style of Violet le Duc. The couple swallowed up crazy sums of money in this project, which lasted more than 55 years, decorated on all sides with its own private chapel within the building, the castle was in the middle of a magnificent landscaped park in the French style. The couple were nostalgic for the days of the monarchy and therefore went to build this amazing tower in the middle of the castle, so high that if a king of France returned to the throne, they would hang a royal flag at the top, so that it could be seen for miles around. Unfortunately, the castle was given as an inheritance to the descendants of the family who did not appreciate them and therefore decided to drop the castle in ruins. The roofs were removed and time did the rest so that the ruin is now overgrown with vegetation. A farmer used the land for his ship today and the towers continue to crumble. Number 1. The Castle of La Motte Chandonnier This castle was initially a medieval castle which passed into the hands of many noble French families over the years. Embellished at the beginning of the 19th century, the castle was rebuilt in 1970s in the neo-gothic style we can see now. The surroundings are also arranged so that the building is surrounded by water. Badly damaged by a fire in 1932, the building gradually deteriorated and fell into ruin despite the attempts at restoration by successive owners. In December 2017, the castle was bought by thousands of internet users at the end of a fundraising campaign launched at the initiative of D'Artagnan's and Adopt the Castle, which has gone far beyond the borders of France. The main objectives were to stop the deterioration of the building and to operate the castle, the outbuildings, as well as the estate of an area of 2 hectares. 
it is probably one of the most beautiful castles in France due to its abandonment embellished by the nature that has grown inside. The mixture of Gothic decorations, its position surrounded by water, and the trees that blend with its architecture make it a unique and timeless place worthy of the most beautiful fairy tale castles. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.